Hello everybody, welcome back to my review video. I know you was expecting you guys what's going down is the reality here, but that's on my main channel. And I've, I've also changed my out intro to my um, outdoors video. So if you want to go and check that out, I'll leave them in the description. And I've got some other channels that you can go and see and hopefully subscribe for me. Because they mean a lot to me, those guys, for subscribing. Anyway, I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about this here, this beautiful bike here that I'm reviewing today. I've had this bike now a week, and I've done this many miles on it. And, yeah, so, this is stock at the moment, but when I get paid, I'll be getting upgrade for it. So, I'm not going to say yet, but you can imagine what I'm going to get. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say yet. Also, we'll, we will, will, sorry, will be reviewing my bike maintenance sand that I got today and if I haven't reviewed it, I don't know if I have I'll be reviewing my um, road bike as well which is in the shed at the moment I haven't used it in like a week but there we go, I've been focused on getting this bike and riding it and stuff like that so we, I'm going to start off this way and go that way so yeah let's start off with the wheels these wheels are 29.5 and the width is 2.25 and the brand is WTB Ranger I love the tyres, they're actually really really grippy um, not too much drag on them which I quite like because I'd mostly be going on road I don't know what I want to do with this bike yet if I want to do bike touring, like bike packing or I don't know yet, I've had it a week and I'm not sure what to do yet because if I want to do bike packing, I'm going to have to send for them in America, the bike, the bags that I want. So, and that's going to cost me like 150, 160 quid. So, if I want to do that, I've got to wait until next payday, not the payday that's coming up. Anyway, so, the hydraulic brakes, which they are, um, actually really good. Obviously, well, like you said, I've, like you've seen, I've done the miles up here. And... You know, it's just be uh, bedding them in. Um, suspension, not too bad. It's not the best suspension in the world. I am going to get air forks. I know I said I wasn't going to say, but I'm going to get air forks for them because I find it a lot more squishier. But if I want to do touring, it's not the best. But anyway, <laughs> so these are SR Suntour uh, CX. I think that's the 730 or 130. I'm not too sure. But it's lockout, as you see up here. It's lockout. Um, it's okay if you just if it's for a starter suspension. If you want to go more like me, you want to get an air an air suspension fork. Anyway, so the grips, yeah, they're all right. I think these are the alcohol ones where you just put um, whiskey alcohol grips. Where you just put alcohol in them and they stick. Not too bad, but I want lockout ones. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to get for the bike. Because I'm going to end up saying it anyway. So, I'd, yeah, they're not too bad. I'll be getting lockout ones anyway. The hydraulic brakes, actually, like I said, really, really good. These are TEK, is it Tro? Tro or Fro, something like that. Um, the gears are Shimano Altus, so I just need to get them altered, or Altus, a hey, Buddha, tss. that was really bad, <laughs> um, same on the other side, the handlebar is unbranded, so I'm not sure, unlike my form that I used to have, which I found a photo of, dear lord, which is up here, with my trailer, jeez, um, that was actually its own brand, form, anyway, um, the cockpit set here is GT, the little bit up here that keeps the stem on is GT, which is pretty good, looks actually pretty decent as well. Um, go down, I love the branding of this, how they've done it is really really good. Um, Shimano crank set, I'm just going to keep them stock, might as well. Um, pedals, I do not like flat foot pedals, never have, never will. Since I've been um, with clipping pedals, I've always wanted to go with them. So <laughs> I'm going to get a set of clipping pedals for this bike, which will connect with my shoes 
which we're probably getting, we're getting some new ones because they're what, two years old now, a little bit dirty. And, well, not dirty, but used, should I say. Um, see the post? Um, oh, it's a sea post, isn't it? <laughs> this one's all terrier. Yeah, that's alright. It's probably the thickest sea tube I've had on all my bikes. But this is the big, well, biggest bike I've ever had. Um, that's just standard, or will, will be keeping that same. Um, now the seat is GT owned brand. I do not like it. It's so uncomfortable to ride with. I just don't like it. So I'll be getting replacing that with a, a softer one, hopefully. Um, it is quick release, which is quite good. But maybe further into the future, I'll be getting. Um, I can't think what they're called now. Where you press a button and it goes up for you. I can't think what it's called. Um, moving on to the back, I'll probably have to, give me a sec, I'm just going to swap the bike around a minute so you can see the crank set. Alright, so I've changed it around, um, the back derailleur, the rear derailleur, is a Shimano Alviro, Alviro, not what I said of Shimano Altus, the Shimano, on the other video, Shimano Alviro and um, so the front derailleur is unbranded all it says is 9 speed and that's it so I don't know what hub it is it's probably just a standard hub um, nothing too special it's not too loud don't know if you can even hear that that's just a standard hub um, yeah and that's pretty much it so I've done this done this front end the suspension done this what do you think I should do guys should I buy a bike stand or like a kit stand for this or should I just leave it as it is what should I do comment comment your thoughts down below because I want to get a stand for it because all my bikes have got a stand but what do you think I should do Com comment your thought down below so uh Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. So if you like what I'm doing, smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, punch the subscribe button. I know I've had um, on one of my bike videos, my, what was it? The review video of the other bike is up here. That is a lot of views and a lot of people that's not subscribed. So if you like what I'm doing, smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, punch the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next review video. Thanks for watching.